Are you relocating to Northern Virginia and you're wondering what your transportation options are? Today, I'll be talking about the top four ways for commuting and getting around Northern Virginia. So stay tuned. Hi there, it's Peggy Yee here with Frankly Realtors, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Northern Virginia. And on this channel, I provide you with the best information on buying, selling, and living in Northern Virginia. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And make sure you watch to the end for an insider way to commute that very few people know about. Okay, so let's get started. So number one uh, way that people commute here in Northern Virginia is by car. So there's basically two major highways. I-66 goes east and west, and then I-495 and I-95 go north and south. And I-66 has tolls during rush hour. Uh, in the morning, it's from 5.30 to 9.30 a.m. going into D.C., so just going east. And in the evening, from 3 to 7 p.m., there's a toll on I-66 West going out of the city. So just keep that in mind uh, as, as you're commuting. You'll also want to get an easy pass in your car to automatically pay for the tolls as well. I-495 has a dedicated express lane that are separate from the regular lanes. And so the free lanes you know, are always there. And just keep in mind that there are specific entrances and exits for the express. So just make sure you get off at the right exit. Both I-66 and 495 have dynamic tolling, which basically means that the more traffic there is, the more expensive it gets. So just make sure to take a look at how much it's gonna cost you to actually get on the express lane before you actually get on. Also, if you have two or more people in your car, then you qualify as a high occupancy vehicle or HOV, and then you can actually just drive in for free. So that's a really great way uh, to, to be able to drive on the express lanes for free. And if you don't know how to uh, or don't have anybody to drive with, stay till the end because I'm going to give you a tip on how to find people. OK, so the second best way to do this uh, that people commute is by train. And so the D.C. system is very extensive and it runs throughout D.C., Northern Virginia, and Maryland. And the newest train line is the Silver Line that actually goes out to Reston, and then they're continuing to build it out to uh, Dulles, uh, to the airport. And the metro system charges you based upon entry and exit. So the longer you ride on the metro, the more it's going to cost you. They also have peak fares during rush hour, so uh, just make sure you keep in mind that. Sometimes you'll see people waiting uh, right outside the metro station, just waiting for that peak hour to end, so then they can go in right after that. Amtrak and VRE are also other train options if you live near that too. Okay, number three, the third option is by bus. Uh, Northern Virginia has a very extensive bus network. Uh, they're located at all of the train stations, and uh, the main buses are run by Metrobus, which also runs the train systems. And so they're coordinated with the local county buses as well. So you can pretty much get anywhere you need to uh, with the bus, uh, even if it's not close to a Metro station. There's also express buses and airport buses as well that are a little bit more expensive, uh, but will get you, get you there faster. And the smart card also works on the buses as well. Okay, number four, uh, the last option I'll talk about is actually biking to work. Uh, Northern Virginia is uh, very bike friendly, uh, especially if you live along the WOD Trail. The WOD Trail runs, um, you know, all throughout Northern Virginia uh, and beyond. And so if you're biking, you can consider uh, biking to work. A lot of people do it in the summer. Okay, now for my bonus tip, uh, something called slugging. Uh, which is something in Northern Virginia uh, that's been here for the last 40 years. Uh, and it's basically like casual carpooling. Uh, it came about because people had to drive to work and they wanted to use those HOV lanes because they want to drive in for free, but they didn't have anybody to, uh, to drive with. 
And then you've got other people that want to just drive into work, but maybe they don't have a car or they don't want to uh, pay for you know, the bus or anything like that, but they're still also going to work as well. And so you've got people that, um, that have these slug lines, which basically they pick up at certain areas and they'll drop you off if you're both going to, uh, to the popular, you know, any popular like work location like the Pentagon or into downtown DC. So if you don't have a car, you just wait in line at that stop, and then whatever next car that comes that's you know going to the Pentagon or wherever, they'll give you a ride there for free. And so it could be a different car every day. You don't know who you're driving with, but you guys all know that you're going to the same location. Now, there are certain etiquette rules for riding, so make sure you review those before you actually ride. And I'll put a link down in the description below so you can learn more about how those slug lines work. Okay, so that's an overview of the transportation options here in Northern Virginia. If you're relocating to the area, be sure to get a copy of my Northern Virginia relocation guide where I share even more tips on where to live and what to do here. I'll put the link down below uh, to that resource as well. Talk to you guys soon.